this. Okay, questions we got from a bunch of people on the internet. What advice do I have for my 25 year old self? First thing first, I think you should ask yourself, what is the 10 year old self, not your 10 years old, but 10 years older than you are now, what would they tell you? So Brandon behind the cam is 24, I'm 34. So what would 44 year old Noah tell Noah? And I actually think that's a really more interesting question for you to think about. Um, because I think it would probably be like, yo, marriage is gonna be cool, you're gonna deal with some bullshit, but get through it. Uh, go do the things you really like doing and don't compromise. Uh, but to the question about where would I go back in time, which we can't do, so I think you have to really think about the forward of time. Um, so here are a few things I really think you should be thinking about. And I was gonna do some Jack Handy music, but I don't know if a lot of you guys out there know who the hell Jack Handy is. Do you know who he is? God, you young people these days, no respect. Anyway, so here's a few things I would do if I go back. So hopefully this is stuff that you're gonna be doing. Number one, spend more time thinking than just doing. Uh, and block out time in your calendar to do that. I think so many times you get on this computer and you're just like, oh, I feel like I'm working, I feel like things are happening, but you're actually not thinking about things. And you guys have heard about this, but it's like, do you rather just start cutting wood or do you sharpen your saw so your cut wood cuts more effectively? So in my calendar, I have allocated time just for thinking. Uh, I was in a, <laughs> I was in Taos, New Mexico with my cousin and I'm, we slept in the same bed, uh, it was a small house. And I wake up and he's like sitting there, just quiet, and I fart and he just still sits there. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And he's like, and he just wouldn't talk and I was like wow that's really impressive not that he just was not distractible uh, but he was allocating time in his day and some people call it meditation I think meditation's too too hard and complicated but allocate time half an hour 15 minutes for you to think about yourself and how to get more effective uh, instead of just doing time allocate thinking time number two write out a clear vision so I got dumped by like the, the love of my life uh, she cheated on me in Australia because Australia is the land of cheaters I don't know if you guys know that but if I, there are so many gorgeous people there uh, and that's why if you go to Australia, you're gonna cheat, just FYI. Uh, but she did that, and I was like, man, this really hurt my feelings. And so I did this, and I don't know where the fuck it came from, but I wrote out a 30, 60, 90, 365, five year and 10 year plan. Uh, and I literally wrote it out, and I was like, well, I wanna have this amount of money. I wanna have a net worth of a million dollars. I wanna have a house. I wanna have a kid. I wanna have a dog. Uh, and some of it doesn't have to be abnormal, but I think when you start thinking about what that future looks like, and I've been reading these books, and I just wanna keep repeating this message. But I was reading books from like Phil Knight with Shoe Dog and Total Recall with Arnold and all these people, they had visions. And then all they did was focus on those visions and remove the distractions. So as you just even start kind of coming together and painting this picture, it'll help you start getting those things and moving towards those things because you know what you want, or at least you start getting that idea of it. As well, if you don't know what you want, at least start doing things so you know what you don't want. Uh, but I wrote up this 30, 60, 90, 365, five year, 10 year. I printed it out, I put it on my mirror, put it on your fridge, put it on your phone, put it on your laptop. And then I just started seeing it over and over and over again. I thought that was really helpful and I'm doing that again now uh, in my 34 year old self. Uh, a few other things. When you're younger, people are nicer to you. As you get old and like grumpy and hairy, like people aren't as nice. Like Brandon is like this nice 24 year old person. So he emails, oh, I have this question. It's like, oh, I'm more open to that. So go and network with people. Like go spend a lot of money on dinner. Go take someone out for a $200 dinner wherever they want to, hey, what's your favorite restaurant in town? Hey, can I pay for that favorite restaurant just so I have lunch? And if it's over an hour and you don't like it, you can walk out. But go network and get people that have already done the things you wanna do. Like why figure it all out, right? You can shortcut and save a lot of time. You can get to where you wanna go. Just find the person who's already been there. It's like Mecca. Like you go to the promised land, they already figured it out and they'll save you a lot of time in accomplishing the things you want. And especially when you're young, people will take those meetings. When you get older, they don't want to because they're generally, oh, it's something transactional. Uh, other things I would take, tell myself, two other things. One, stick with things. So uh, I think there's something good, and especially in our generation where we want to have a lot of purpose and we want to change, but I think I would have grown a lot more, like with Facebook and Mint and maybe even some building the games. Like I always kind of thought the next thing would be the better thing. Like kind of even with women, oh, the next one's going to be better and then the next one. But eventually, if you just stick with something, you can make satisfaction out of it. And my buddy Adam Gilbert uh, from My Body Tutor said something really, really smart yesterday. He said sometimes the most rewarding things are the hardest things. And I thought that was a very powerful statement where I'm like, oh yeah, the most rewarding things are the hardest. So if you're struggling more, generally that could be, and hopefully, a more rewarding situation. Um, and then lastly, the thing I would say, so stick with things, and the last thing I really think you should do is go make stuff. If you've got a corporate job, if you're working at Best Buy, you know, you know what pisses me off is I see these like people that are security guards at our, our building that I live in, and they're just like sitting there all day. I'm like, why don't you fucking listen to a podcast? Why don't you read a book? Why don't you write a blog post? Why don't you like send emails? Why don't you try to do sales? Like if that's what you really wanna be a guard and that's like your, your dream job, fine, don't do anything more. Maybe read on how to be a super guard. Uh, but my suggestion for you is like go make things. Like everything is so affordable to start these days. Like you can get things from China just from a website now. You don't actually have to go there and speak Mandarin like you used to have to do. Uh, or marry one, you know, whatever kind of complicated thing. But point being is just go make something, go learn something. Like my brother, 
that was really interesting, he's a doctor, and um, he's very particular, but one thing I was really impressed with and I really liked was yesterday, he was reading during breakfast. I'm like, oh, what are you reading? You're watching YouTube videos, you're looking at porn, what are you up to? He's like, I'm reading medical blog posts about new technology. I was like, why do you do that? He's like, well, I want to stay sharp. And I just thought it was interesting. Like he always, you know, Stephen Covey, one of my favorite books, Seven Habits, you gotta keep, uh, keep, the sharp, keep sharpening the saw, sharpen the saw, uh, and you gotta stay fresh. So I would say, make sure you go make stuff. So I'm just gonna repeat it. Things I would tell my 25 year old self, Number one, have more time for thinking. Write out a clear vision of where you want to be in the next month, 90 days, year, five year, 10 year, and print it out, put it everywhere. Go uh, mentor with people. So go pay for lunches, pay for dinners, go interview them. A lot of people want to have ego or have ego and so they want to be interviewed. That's a great way to connect with anyone you want. Just interview them. Stick with things that you're going to do uh, and go make stuff. So those are the things I tell my 25 year old self.